in this section we are given a function y equals f of x which is x to the 3 minus 5x plus 7 then we are given closed interval negative 1 to 3 and we want to make four equal rectangles so n equals 4 so then the width of each rectangle will be delta x in this case our b is 3 a is negative 1 and n is 4 so when you plug all of this here after simplification you get delta x is 1 so then we can see x naught here is negative 1 and then one unit here goes to 0 so x1 is 0 x2 is 1 x3 is 2 and x4 is 3 so those are the boundaries now we'll be making uh, area estimation based on left end point so left end point meaning is between these two lines we'll make a rectangle taking height from the left side so this is the rectangle here from another one will be here this one go here and then this one so i'm writing all this and determine also value of this one from the graphing calculator because we have our function already here x to the 3 minus 5x plus 7. So now we plot the function and then x naught is negative 1. So we have to find the value of the function at negative 1 and the next one is 0. x2 is 1 and x3 is 2. Now if you go to the calculator and trace the values at negative 1 we have 11 at 0 we have 7 and then at 1 we have 3 and at 2 we have 5 so when you add all of this we get 26 so with the left hand estimation our area under the curve will be 26 now we are going to use right hand approximation. So now we are taking right hand approximation. So we go from the right side. So let's draw the picture. So the right approximation goes like this from the right side. From the right side. So we are now taking this area. So height is coming from the right side. So then it will be now like because our right side is from here is starting from x1 x1 x2 x3 x4 so now we are tracing all the values at the given point so f0 gives me 7 so we write here then f1 gives me 3 and then i have f2 gives me 5 and f3 gives me 19 so when we add all of this we get 34 so we got right hand estimation which is 34 so now we are taking midpoint approximation so let us look at the midpoints so between negative 1 and 0 the midpoint will be negative 0.5 and 0 to 1 midpoint will be 0.5 1 to 2 midpoint is 1.5 and 2 to 3 midpoint is 2.5 so we list all of this in here and we need to find those values from the function so now we'll be using calculator and get all these values so we now trace the value at the midpoints the first one is negative 0.5 which gives me 9.375 then you have 0.5 that gives me 4.625 1.5 gives me 2.875 and 2.5 gives me 10.125 when you add all of them together this is 27 so then we got our midpoint approximation also. So we are done. Left hand approximation gives us 26 square unit. Right, mid, right point gives you 34 square unit and midpoint gives us 27 square unit. And we are done with the estimation.